Are those real? This reminds me so much of Umbrella Academy. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching Rango. Apparently this movie is really underrated, like a forgotten gem, a forgotten masterpiece, and a lot of you guys have told me to watch it. So yes, that's what we're going to be doing today. And naturally, because I know nothing about this movie, this is going to be my first reaction. Naturally, I googled it, you know, to just to see the poster, and I know that it's about a chameleon and that this is a western which is different from what we usually do in this channel, so I'm really excited, I think it's gonna be very interesting, and yeah, let's just go ahead and, and jump right into this movie! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so impressed already! I love the vibes! I don't usually watch westerns, however, if they are done well... Count me in, okay? We are gathered here today to immortalize in song the life and untimely death of a great legend. Okay, they're breaking the fourth wall. Okay, his neck? It's creeping me out a little bit. Why is it so crooked? It looks like uh, he broke it in half and then it was healed by Gilderoy Lockhart. Brachiam. Emendo! <laughs> Alone in her chamber, the princess prepares to take her own life. Oh my god. <laughs> a mannequin. She reaches for the poison chalice. Okay, we'll have a man with good imagination. The sting of my... Dr. Marks, Dr. Marks, I'm not getting anything from you. Yeah, buddy, he's dead. People, we've talked about this. Acting is reacting. <laughs> this is so hilarious. My character is undefined? <laughs> That's absurd. I'm the guy, the protagonist, the hero. Every story needs a hero. Hit it! He's gonna be strong and he's gonna be fast and he's gonna be fresh from the fire. I need a hero. Oops. Better delete that. Okay, I'm really sorry. I never do that in the first like five minutes of the movie. But it's just, it came to my mind, and when a song comes to my mind, I can't stop myself. The beast inside just wants to be freed, okay? Sorry. I could be the sea captain <laughs> returning from a mighty fire. And if oh my you God. desire romance, <laughs> I will become the greatest lover the world has ever known. Okay. I couldn't help but notice you noticing me noticing you. Wait a minute. Is this a movie for kids? I don't know. Who is the target audience? You know, the women's find me uncomfortably good looking. The women's? But you seem remarkably at ease. Yeah, because she doesn't have a head. Oh, stop it. Right now I'm watching a chameleon flirting with a mannequin, which doesn't have a head. That is definitely interesting. Are those real? This reminds me so much of Umbrella Academy. <laughs> what our story needs is an ironic, unexpected event that will propel the hero into conflict. <gasps> a car accident? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. You're telling me that his owners don't give a crap. They didn't notice that. They didn't notice that their aquarium just jumped as if it's the Olympics and they need a gold medal. I'm pretty sure it's hard to miss, I'm sorry. Okay, how long do chameleons sleep without water? Don't be shy. Come on, duck. It's okay. I won't bite you. Oh. No! Jesus Christ, are you serious? I must get to the other side. The other side? You mean that just now that was you crossing the road? This is my quest. Your quest? <laughs> Sir, you're cut in half. He waits for me. What? Who? The spirit of the West, amigo. I mean, he obviously lost his mind with, you know, the lower half of his body. They say he rides an alabaster carriage with golden guardians to protect him. What are you talking about? What the hell am I watching? Okay, what? I must get to the other side. Why don't you just wait until there are no cars coming? I'm sorry, the only thing he's waiting for is death. It's not so easy as it looks. What? It's a metaphor. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is so nerve-wracking that it's making me uncomfortable. If you want to find water, you must first find 
You want me to just walk out into the desert? Yeah, through the desert. The chances are good. Give or take. Okay, these owls, I'm such a huge fan. <laughs> Honestly, I love the songs. I'm not sure if they're gonna appear like throughout the whole movie, but I'll be waiting for them. And they're cute little heads, are you kidding me? <laughs> they look amazing. But the lizard? He's going to die. Again, are we sure it's a kid's movie? There's a lot of talking about death, and it's the first 10 minutes of the movie. Try to blend in. No, no, it's not too late. I, uh, I'm blending. I'm a blender. <laughs> I'm a blender. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, here she comes. You better run, Mojito. What? Okay, how is he changing the color of his shirt? <laughs> I thought you said don't move. That was before. Now, you run. <laughs> Is there a Renga themed park somewhere? I think there should be a themed park because it would be amazing. No, no, no. Oh. Okay, stop being an Icarus. Stop flying towards the sun. The whole sequence? Incredible! It's his dream, right? It is so unusual, it's really different from your typical animated stuff. It's really weird, but I'm such a huge fan already. I can already tell that it's gonna be one of my most favorite animated movies ever made, because of its originality, because of how out of the box it is. And the animation is flawless. And the soundtrack. I've never fallen in love so fast. <laughs> well, hello. You get up real slow. Lesson you want to spend a bit of part of the afternoon putting your face back together. He already put his neck back together. He can do it. A monkey got a cracker. His mother was a slapper. She'll be coming round the mountain in the rain. <laughs> You ain't from around here, are you? She's so cool. So, what's your name? Beans. Cool beans. <laughs> My daddy was a great man. You were eating his ashes. Oh, uh. Uh. You carry his remains? No, his ashes. He loved to smoke. Oh. At a delicate time of my personal development is an affront to my sense of... Dude, you okay? Hey, my man. And until the people of Andromeda 5 return him safe and sound, I will not sell my ranch! I don't understand what just happened. You get a diet here or you want to ride into town? Luring him to his certain demise. Talking about death again? Sure do appreciate this, Miss Beans, and if there's ever anything Duh, that I can... Get on up. <laughs> okay, then. She didn't have time for his shit. Oh, he found dirt! Okay, I'm so sorry, but this town looks so miserable. He's the only blob of color in the surroundings. I can't give you no more credits. You know that there, fella? It beats! Miss Beans! Nope. Dude, she didn't bring you to this town with her for a reason. Hey, Beans! Oh. Hey. It... I mean, read the room. <laughs> Okay, all of them look like they've been through an apocalypse. Like, multiple times. They terrify me, I'm not gonna lie. This is way too awkward for me. I'd like a glass of water. <laughs> he wants a glass of water! I would fucking die. Right there. All of them are laughing at him. I mean, I get it. They have troubles with water. And it's funny that he's ordering a glass of water. I get it, okay? But laughing at him like this when he is a new one in town, <laughs> I would be really upset. Who exactly are you? Who am I? I could be anyone. <laughs> His lyrical digression again. His inner monologues about who he is and what purpose he serves and who he's supposed to be. They also make this movie special. Yeah, that's right, hombres. Place I come from, we kill a man before breakfast just to work up an appetite. 
That's right, my dude. Fake it until you make it. Mr. Merrimack, if I don't get some water, I'm gonna lose my ranch. You're gonna lose your ranch? How about your life? Bullet hits the shovel, ricochets back towards number three, and that's when the roof caved in. Okay, he found his crowd. <laughs> what happened to number seven? A number seven? He died of infection. <laughs> I love how they all believed him just because he's a good actor. And a good storyteller, I guess. You don't own the land! That's basic real estate law, my friend! Quid pro quo! Kids don't know what quid pro quo means. I'm pretty certain. And there's Rango. Kill them Jenkins brothers. Done it with one bullet, Bill. All seven of them. Okay, now it backfires. That's why you don't lie to strangers. And I mean, don't lie in general. <laughs> Are you fucking dumb? Are you fucking dumb? Oh my man! The level of disrespect is through the roof. But I mean, what was he supposed to do, right? He already put on this persona. There's no coming back from this. Oh, the eagle again. <laughs> He's fast. Got some new rules. I want my shoes shined every morning with coffee hot. Danny's on the side. You don't have shoes i take large steps and i don't want them you hay seeds getting your bodily fluids on my boots and then you don't have boots of course there is no need for violence as long as we okay this bird has a silver beak and it's the coolest thing i've ever seen <laughs> this is exciting Ditch the toilet paper! <laughs> the score gives me chills. <laughs> You're a bird! You can fly? What was that about? He did it with one bullet. But just like he said. Sinking deeper into the guacamole of his own deception. Okay, yeah, technically he lied. But also, he did kill this thing with one bullet, okay? We gotta give him some credit. Yep, he lied about his whole backstory. Nothing that he said happened. But he is a hero of this town. He killed the hawk. So technically it's not that bad. I guess power has its privileges. You make a good point, son. But with privilege comes responsibility. Yeah, yeah, with great power comes great responsibility. You know how they make it through each and every day? They believe. Right now, they believe in you. I love how they all believe in a lizard who came here with no weapon, no money, with only a story behind him that he clearly made up. But he was lucky enough to kill a hawk and now they all believe in him and he's a national treasure. Pick it up. Your destiny awaits. Can I also move up the ladder that fast? I'm actually sad that in the real world it doesn't work like this. This whole town is drying up and the mayor is the only one who don't seem to be affected. What? Didn't that make you just a wee bit suspicious? What's so suspicious about it? The top 1% of the top 1% doesn't share with the poor? I mean, what's next? The earth is not flat, moon landing is real. <laughs> Please. I am trying to save my daddy's ranch, which is on the verge of an agricultural meltdown. Were you playing patty cake with this huge trollop? Okay, you didn't even say hello to him when he came to this town, and now you're acting like he owes you something? Pardon me, where's everybody go? What exactly happened to the... Okay, these folks remind me of the cult members a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what's happening. Oh. <laughs> Just threw up to lady. I mean, new sheriff, new rules, right? Thursday through Saturday? He lived three days? I welcome you to our great day of deliverance. Okay, now I'm fully convinced this is a cult. They have a theme song, a ritual dance, and now this weird crest. This is a cult. Just tell me. So bold <laughs> has been his hit. Yes, take it back. I, I... <laughs> he was trying to rob her again? It is the time of hydration! Dude, you ran out of water. We already know that. Ew. It's his fault! It's the newcomer! Burn him! 
now I'm fully convinced this is a cult. Now this whole thing stinks three ways to Sunday. First the banks run dry. What's she talking about? She said there's no water in the bank. Yeah, girl, stop screaming like a banshee. Now the whole town knows your dirty little secrets. You folks have a water problem. Really? What do you think happens then? Before you know it, there wouldn't be any more water. No way. And then where would we be? Why, well, we'd turn on each other like a bunch of animals. Yeah, that's what's happening. That's what's been happening. As long as we've got water, we've got ourselves a town. I'm so sorry. He sounds like the biggest scammer in the world. Like this little speech that he gave literally sounded like a scammer trying to convince the customers to participate in a pyramid scheme. This ain't the bank. You got your shovel, pickaxe, Benadryl, loofah, sorted snacks, some puzzle books, and you're gonna need a permit. He's so incompetent. The sheriff is standing right here. <laughs> Helping us out. Providing a bunch of criminals with tools to rob a bank with. Protected morning, noon, and night by yours truly. Oh, really? How interesting. First off, does anybody here know how to use a firearm of any kind? Pretty much everyone. What do we do now, Sheriff? Now, we ride. I mean, the bank was robbed. They ran out of water. They needed to form this civilian army way before it all happened. Now just wait a cotton picking minute, a posse ain't no place for a Oh hell no, brother. You're not saying that there's no place for a woman in a posse. No, you're better than that. I don't know why I'm assuming that, by the way. That's like the second time he's been sexist. Would you look at that? Like seeing the face of God. Something is controlling this here water. Okay, someone's still in the water. Probably the mayor and the bill dude. Case closed. What'd he say? I think he said follow the pipe. He said follow the pipe. He said follow the pipe. Let's follow the pipe then. If you ever played Witcher 3, it looks like one of the locations. This man wasn't shot. He was drowned. Drowned? In the middle of the desert? Uh, right. Do we need a trampoline, maybe? To jump into more conclusions? How in the world could you tell it by just looking at him? I think you have to find some water in his lungs? To be able to tell it, you know, that the cause of death was drowning? He's a real professional, I'm gonna tell you that. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to honor this man, Mr. Merrimack. You have the right to remain silent, speak now or forever hold peace. Amen. It sounds like a combination of a best man speech, a eulogy, and a cop reading Miranda rights. Oh wow, this is so beautiful. Oh my god! I'm not gonna lie, these like music scenes with the band, the owls, these are one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie. Before we bunk down, I'd like us all to join hands for a moment, say a few words to the spirit of a west. Told you, a cult. We needed a brave man, and you sent us one. Aww. Just to have someone to believe in. That was so wholesome. Too bad he's full of crap. I never made friends easy like that. There's someone special in your life, Rango? Yep. That mannequin from the beginning of the movie it still hurts. It's the water. I have a plan. Arriving to great fanfare was a raging father. Okay, he does have good imagination. And his dreams are coming true, you know? <laughs> this is the best acting gig he can get. I mean, as good as it gets, right? That's the signal. That, that's a signal. Something must have gone wrong. You don't say. No, you know what? Everything's going according to the plan. Not their plan, though. Somebody else's plan. This this gang's plan. Everything is going according to their plan. Looks like we made it. And that audience is quite responsive. Yeah, well, I think that chromosome pool is about dried up. What? There's no water in there. I'm pretty sure this tank is full of dirt or something, like sand, maybe. There's no water there. Okay, actually, I think before stealing the tank, they should have checked if there's some water in there, because if everything that's going on right now is literally for nothing, then what are we doing here? I mean, that's a cool action scene, I'm not gonna lie. It's like a mix of Indiana Jones and Star Wars. Like, what can you not like about it? And an absolutely amazing soundtrack. I mean, I 
totally get why this movie didn't do well, like, in the box office, but I'm loving every second of it. Wow, no water. Who could have thought? Who could have guessed? Totally not me. What the hell we been fighting for? My question exactly. I think that better fell in the party dress as a sheriff. That's the same fella who'd give us a prospecting permit. A what? Yep. Talking about the same man. Here they come! Yeah guys, don't get your hopes too high. They come with bare hands. Oh actually no, they caught the Criminal guys. Well, just not take into account that your sheriff here gave them the permit to rob a bank. You know what happens? Just life. Life. Life happens. Just like a dash of incompetence as well, but mostly just life. Where's he going? He's going to see the mayor. What a shocking turn of events. The mayor is the culprit. Oh no, those in power lie to people. How could it be? Oh my god, impossible. Just like rain in the desert, impossible. I was here before the highway split this great valley, and I learned a thing or two. What did you learn, I wonder? How to rule a town that's on a path of destruction, whose citizens die without water, and you're the reason that this water is so scarce? I wonder how you learned that, because that's not a simple thing you can Google. You seem to forget you're just one little lizard. You seem to forget. I'm the law around these parts. I mean, he kind of made you a sheriff. I think he knows. Legit my favorite characters, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I want them to sing me to sleep every night. The mayor has bought up all the land in the valley, except for your ranch, Miss Beans. Without water, that land is useless. I mean, I don't understand it either. He is the mayor. He already controls the town. Does he not? Like, there will be no town without water. Sheriff, we got a problem. That won't be necessary. Yeah, you can just expose your mayor. And they will turn their anger on him. Accusations start flying, neighbor turns on neighbor pretty soon. Dude, you already had this bitch. We're eating our children, then dogs and cats are getting together to create all sorts of unnatural mutant aberrations. Another great example of how people with great public speaking skills can literally achieve everything they want. Such a poser. Thirsty. Ew. Yuck. Seems these folks trust you. They think you're gonna save their little town. I mean, he will. It's still a kid's movie, right? You didn't do any of them things you said, did you? You didn't kill them Jenkins brothers. You ain't even from the West. Okay, don't expose him like that, Mr. Snake. You wanna kill him? Kill him. Whatever. Oh, speak up. I don't think your friends here heard you. But such public humiliation. Jesus, he just wanted to be cooler than he is. Ain't nothing but a fake and a cow. Oh, he's not a coward. He is a liar, I'm not gonna lie. And a manipulator. But he's not a coward. Pathetic fraud. This is my town. The animation, though, is fantastic. Like, hands down, one of the best I've ever seen. These colors, oh my goodness. I mean, the dude from the beginning of the movie told him to cross the desert. And that's what he's doing right now. I think he's on the right track. Oh, <laughs> he found the man again. The love of his life. Who am I? Oh no. Not this again. I'm nobody. No, don't say it. You're a good actor, at least. Because they all believed you, even though it was such a crappy story. Dude. Okay, this is not made for kids. Seriously though, he wanted to become someone and he was exposed and embarrassed in front of all these people. And that sucks. I know this feeling and it truly sucks. Not that I lied to anyone that I killed seven people with one bullet. But you know, I've had my fair share of public embarrassment and I feel it. These days they got a name for just about everything. Doesn't matter what they call you. It's the deed. This man looks so real. Many years ago, this entire valley was covered in agua. Where did it go? Climate change. What are you building out here? 
the future, Mr. Rango. Oh, don't tell me that this turtle somehow built a whole city. I mean, I get it, urbanization, technological progress and all that, but I didn't know turtles were involved. Control the water, and you control everything. Wait, what? We control the water. <laughs> there is no way the turtle can build all of that. Your family's ranch is nothing but a wasteland now. Sign the deed. Dude, this makes no sense. If this mayor is the head of, like, a criminal organization, he doesn't give a fuck about law. Why is he trying to convince her to sign the papers? They literally mean nothing to him. I mean, maybe he wants to maintain this illusion that he's, like, a good guy. But are these people blind? He has a pet snake. <laughs> that's been terrorizing this whole town for years. That's been killing people. Maybe put two and two together, I don't know. Them pretty brown eyes out of your skull. <laughs> you brought me in, now we're gonna play this thing out to the end. Oh my god, so much drama. Sign the damn paper, woman. Maybe consider participating in a reality show. Love Island, maybe? You would blend in perfectly. Jake! Such a funny name for a snake. Jake the Snake. <laughs> Okay, I've been trying not to make comparisons to Pirates of the Caribbean this whole time, but I mean, he has one pistol with one bullet that they gave him. I'm not gonna say anything else. So, for whom the bell tolls? <laughs> ah! For him, I guess. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh. You came back. Okay, didn't really expect to see two wizards kiss when I woke up this morning. Here we are. One last bullet to kill one last outlaw. <laughs> yeah, you don't have it, my man. How fitting. Huh? Really? Oh, come on! I'm so sorry, but this is so stupid. I guess the laws of physics don't exist in this movie. Maybe the Earth is flat in this universe and the moon landing was fake. I tip my hat to you. One legend to another. Jake the Snake is our friend now. Aww. You brought the water back. Just like you promised. Hmm. Beans. Don't forget your nasal sprays in your saddlebag and your moisturizing lotion. Now, Beans, we talked about this. And don't embarrass me like that, woman. The hero must abandon the self and solidify his image as an icon that will forever be remembered. Oh, I'm pretty sure they had ideas for the sequel. Remember me. Know that I will be there watching you. That sounds Sometimes creepy. Sometimes at inappropriate moments. That sounds even creepier. What? <laughs> Okay, so that was my first reaction to Rango, and I'm pretty sure you all already know what I'm gonna say about this movie. It's well written, although for me it was a bit too long, like it's a two hour long movie. And again, I was a little bit confused because while watching it, you don't quite understand who the target audience is. Like, is it made for kids? Is it made for adults? I mean, I don't think this movie itself understands what kind of audience it wants to, you know, attract. Like, yeah. Some kids might enjoy this movie, I'm not gonna tell you that they won't, but it doesn't start me as a movie for children, because of all these jokes and of the movie references and stuff like that, they just won't get like half of them. But since I'm an adult, I can tell you that I found it very entertaining and very engaging. The voice acting was impeccable, the attention to details was literally breathtaking, and the way like the, the style of storytelling was really unique and fresh in my opinion. Like. Hats off to the band of owls. They are the stars of this show. They are the best. I love them so, so much. So yeah, I would say that this movie is underrated, but again, I understand why it is underrated. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this movie reaction. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.